We begin our coverage with a Good Morning Indiana exclusive. We have the details on how the state's largest emergency medical services will handle any coronavirus cases. Now at this point, the State Department of Health says there are no known cases here in the state of Indiana. Uh, but Indy's 300 medics and their ambulances, they're equipped to respond. It's a story you'll only see right here on RTV6. The biggest concerns for public health providers remains the flu. But with all this talk of the coronavirus, emergency medical services wants people to be calm. They say they are ready. We're ready. We are prepared as a city. The flu is still our biggest risk, especially here in Indiana, but nationwide, is the flu is affecting far more people in the United States than the coronavirus. Well, again, we still recommend if you've not gotten your flu shot, please get your flu shot because the flu is still sticking around. If you call 911 with flu symptoms, be prepared to be asked if you've traveled overseas. If you say yes, be prepared for this response in the age of the coronavirus. The responders, once they get on scene, will then confirm with you that you have been to one of the high risk areas. And if that happens, they're gonna hand you a surgical mask, which is just a good procedure in cold and flu season anyway. It's just something to put over your mouth um, so you don't, you limit how your exposure to other folks. We will don a little more involved personal protective equipment. The responders would wear what we call a uh, droplet and uh, contact isolation. One of the things we wear is a gown. It may be blue, maybe yellow. And this is just if there is coughing, if there's sneezing or anything that might make droplets. This just keeps it off their clothing. The respirators our people use are reusable devices. The provider would wear, of course, gloves. This is one of multiple types of face shields. This is a disposable one. It just slips on your head. What does this help do then? What, what is this is, again, if Pretend now I'm the patient. If I'm ill and I cough, I make this aerosol mist of fine droplets, and those droplets stick on basically what they see, what they fly at. So this would catch those droplets so they wouldn't be sticking on your face or getting your eyes. At the end of the day, this is a process to keep the patient and the medic safe. Continuous, yes. All the time. All the time. In our next half hour, we'll show you the year's worth of supplies that EMS has on standby in case it needs to respond to a public health threat beyond its daily emergency calls, which at times, Meredith, can top 350 a day that EMS is responding to. Well, and we've already seen in some locations, not only here in the States, but across the world, that patients are taken to particular quarantined hospitals. Will this be the same situation here if an ambulance does pick up a patient, will they have to take them somewhere in particular? Here in Indianapolis, medics will take you to the hospital of your choice. They say that area facilities have the protocols in place to admit a patient who potentially has the COVID-19 virus. Okay, good to know, Raphael. We have all the details on this story right now on the RTV6 app and the IndyChannel.com.